I have Dinesh D'Souza on the line. He has now created another extremely important film, and it is called Police State. And tragically, it's not about East Germany or China or Russia or Iran. It's about the United States. It's hard to believe that a movie titled that could actually be made and be accurate. I never would have foreseen this. But it's true, and it's a warning. I congratulate you, Dinesh, and welcome to the show. Thank you, Dennis. It's, uh, as you sort of insinuated, not something to be happy about that we are at this juncture but um, I thought that there are so many threads here, so many features of police states that are observable right around us that it was time to pull the threads together and, and issue uh, a, a very urgent warning. What One of the things that you do that I love because I, I want to learn, I, that's how I measure to other talk shows, am I learning something? You ask the $64,000 question in your film, what are the beginnings of the police state in the United States? So I'd like to go over that with you because it will be fascinating. Uh, and it's, I want to delve into that. So you mention Waco and Ruby Ridge. Is that the genesis? Are they the genesis? No, I think that those are two early sort of flashpoints. And um, you recall, Dennis, that recently when Hillary Clinton said that the MAGA Republicans are like cult members, and she thought that some kind of formal deprogramming might be warranted, it flashed my mind back to the 90s and to Ruby Ridge. And I thought, you know, when those horrific events unfolded, and I remember watching them kind of mesmerized, buildings on fire. I mean, families being roasted alive. But a little part of me kept saying, and I think a lot of Americans kept saying, well, those people were kooks. Those people were cult members. God knows what they were doing at that ranch. And so the dehumanization of those guys at, 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 Ruby, at, at Waco was a prelude to the horrific events that happened to them. And I thought of that when I heard Hillary Clinton, because I thought, you know, it's not just that she's exaggerating. Some people were like, there she goes again, basket of deplorables. I think that she was very consciously dehumanizing her political opponents. And we know from history, we know from police states around the world, it's dehumanization that can lead to ostracism, that can lead to incarceration. Of course, in the Nazi case, could lead to extermination. So this is taking things down a very bad road. Right. So, tell, so I was surprised but not troubled i just i i thought you would say waco and ruby ridge were the beginning so what where do you think it did begin dennis i think it really began after 9 11 and mm -hmm. it began after 9 11 because so many of us me included said that we need to enhance the powers of the police agencies of government this is just not normal detective work there's a crime you then go find out who did it you got to prevent these things from happening in the future and so some of the old distinctions, which were there for a purpose, between, say, intelligence gathering on the one hand and criminal prosecution on the other, these all began to come together. Uh, also, the FBI and the CIA began to work more closely together. Remember, the FBI works inside the United States. The CIA, for the most part, works abroad. But suddenly, the CIA was collaborating with the FBI. So all of this happened after 9-11, and, um, and it was given these powers were given to the government with the specific purpose of going after foreign terrorists. Little did we know that, you know, a decade later, starting under Obama, but now ramping up under Biden, these very same police powers would be turned in a chilling and nasty way against Republicans and patriots and conservatives and Christians. So I think that the powers were given to the government uh, after 9-11. Obama realized, I can turn these a very different way, and this has now become, has been ramped up under Biden. So we're going to continue 
the movie opens tonight in 700 theaters around the country. How do people go and get tickets? There's only one way to get tickets. Uh, you cannot get them from Fandango. Don't just go to the theater looking for a ticket. Go to policestatefilm.net. 